As you know, Ben speaks tomorrow afternoon around 2.30 Eastern Time. And you may also know that Janet Yellen is expected to be the person who takes over from Ben when he steps down. Here is former budget, uh, Reagan budget director David Stockman. All right, two points to make with you, David. First of all, you've said many times, <clears throat> and you wrote a book about it, that when the Fed stops printing money, we will have a real problem with the stock market. Yeah, I think you used the word crash. Okay, let's suppose that we print a little bit less money, the taper, so to speak. Do we still have stock market problems? Because we'll find out tomorrow afternoon. Well, I think the uh, market is fixing to throw a hissy fit of biblical proportions. Really? It's only a question of when and the catalyst. Uh, look at this pathetic relief rally, so-called, summer's relief rally we've had yeah. yesterday and spilling over into today. Le you know, the boys and girls and uh, robots on Wall Street are so addicted to their monetary heroin that they cannot even see that Larry Summers uh, is effectively John Maynard Keynes' vicar on earth. He has never seen a stimulus that he didn't like, <clears throat> that happened soon enough, okay. lasted long well, enough, well, was big enough. So, now, now, so the point, so the, no, but the point I'm making is if the market felt that he was a threat uh, to uh, the future, then I think that's a measure of how sick, how right. distorted, how unbalanced and uh, unsafe this market is. Now, now Yellen uh, obviously is likely to be appointed. Uh, and uh, I can understand why the market is cheering. After all, Yellen told the uh, Congressional Crisis Inquiry Commission in 210 that she saw none of these bubbles coming, that effectively she is a self-certified member of the bubble blind, did not see that housing securitization was problematic, did not see the repo market was an accident waiting to happen, did not see the games. The, <laughs> okay. she said it goes that, on she and told, on and on. She, the, the, the rating agencies were playing. So my point is, if that is who we're going to have running the Fed going forward, we are in for, I think, a disastrous uh, period but ahead. But not yet. Who, who as can long predict? As, she who prints, can predict? as long, as, long yeah. as the Fed prints, you think we're going to be okay? No, I don't think so, because the, the Fed, uh, you know, we don't know what the catalyst, what the black swan, what the uh, unexpected uh, development is going to be that will cause people to sell. And if the market begins to sell off, even more money printing is not going to stop the carnage that will result. And you think about, uh, wait a we minute. We have bubbles wait. everywhere. Yes, we have recreated all the and bubbles. you're saying this is inevitable. I think it's absolutely inevitable. The, the S&P, or uh, excuse me, the Russell 2000 today is 25% higher than it was in the fall of 2007. Has our uh, Main Street economy, which is after all what the Russell 2000 represents, gotten any better, any stronger, any more sustainable, any more productive than it was in the fall of 2007 before the last well, crisis? I would say that when you say that, you know, you're starting at a very, at the point where you want to start. Uh, you know, we're, uh, you know, we, we were in the midst of a, of a serious pullback. The market was at some point oversold, uh, or do you think it... Where do no, you think I'm starting from the fall of 2007, right. the peak. What do you think the, fair, saying, value, Charles, you think the saying, fair value of the market should be? Uh, you know, I have no idea, but it's way below where it is today. The market is trading at 19 times trailing gap earnings, the real thing, the honest thing hmm? that isn't all doctored and ex-itemed uh, and adjusted. Times, so, 19 times reported earnings. Trailing isn't that fairly normal? I mean, no, I, I don't think it's... Out of the question? <laughs> I think it is way out of the question. Historically? That, it yes. Is? 19 times trailing is exactly where it was in October of 2007 for one. Secondly, I don't know why the market is allegedly discounting the future. I don't know why anyone would believe that with all the headwinds we face, whether it's in Europe, whether it's China going through some kind of adjustment, whether it's Japan. It's because the alternative to stocks is not attractive. Well, but why would I want to put my money into a bond which maybe earns me two or three percent? And if it's a treasury bond, it earns less than one percent. Why do I put it into a bank CD that gives me absolutely nothing? Oh, I'm going to put it in the stock market where I've got a shot at a gain. Yeah. Of course, but that's exactly a measure of the distortion that is caused by the Fed policy. They're basically telling the savers of America, we want you to go way out on the risk spectrum. We want you to get into the Russell 2000.